What is up, y'all? We are back with another weekly dose of content for you. And this week, I am showing off one of my favorite Alienware products, and that is my Alienware Graphics Amplifier. For those of you who don't know, the Graphics Amplifier is an accessory that you pair with your, la with your Alienware laptop or your Alienware PC, to, um, and you use this to put a full-size desktop GPU into this graphics amplifier. You can plug your monitors into it, your USBs into it, then it goes right into the back of your, um, your laptop, and you get the power of a full-size desktop GPU in it. So for those of you guys who know, most of my subscribers, some of my viewers, you guys know, I have an Alienware M15 laptop which in its own right is this ridiculously powerful laptop, but it's mostly used for mobile gaming and gaming on the go. But when coupled with this graphics amplifier, you get this ridiculously powerful battle station. This week, I wanted to show it off by using Marvel Avengers, which is a new game that just came out, which is a pretty graphically intensive game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show the game without the graphics amplifier plugged in, show how everything runs, and then we're gonna switch over, we're gonna plug the graphics amplifier in, crank that bad boy up to 11 in the settings, and let it run and do its thing. So with that, let's get into it y'all. Hope you enjoy it. So as you guys can see here, I have it set up with the oh, with the actual graphics card inside the laptop right now. And I've got it set to medium. You guys are gonna see in a second here, the FPS is still really clean. It's like in that 50 to 60 range that you wanna see for a game to be able to run smoothly. And for a, um, for a graphics card on a laptop, this is really impressive. It's smooth, it looks beautiful, all the things I'll show you guys here, and I'll give you guys some more gameplay clips as we go. But I mean, overall, the game looks really impressive without without the graphics amplifier, which just makes it, me even more excited to show you guys what it looks like with the graphics amplifier. But let's move on, I'll show you guys some gameplay, and then we'll go from there. Not them. So as you guys can see, like I said, on, still beautiful, still in the range, the and it looks smooth. The game reason. itself, I'm really happy, like, I'm I've never been a massive superhero person, but on. I have heard, like, really good things about this game, so I'm really happy to see that the game itself is beautiful. Are you hurt? I mean, just look how smooth it runs. In itself is amazing. But anyway, I'll cut to some more gameplay footage, and you guys can kind of see just how um, well it's, um, it runs on the laptop um, before we move on to the graphics amplifier. Some more gameplay of everyone's favorite hero, Iron Man, or at least one of my personal favorites. Like I said, still clean. Game looks absolutely beautiful. I'll let you guys watch a little bit of this. All right, whose bright idea was it to outfit shield trucks with turrets? Tony. Alright, oh, mine. What's going on down there, Tony? Alrighty guys, and as you can see here, I've um, I've now well, I guess you really can't see it, but I've plugged in the graphics amplifier into my laptop that has the NVIDIA graphics card in it. And two cool things, first of all. I can use the NVIDIA app to basically optimize the game to the graphics card, which is really cool. But regardless, so as you can see now, in comparison to uh, um, with the laptop where we had everything on medium or low, now I've got everything on high or ultra or very high, and it's it just overall just makes the game look better. And it's going to run with all these amazing graphics on that same area that we want to look for in like that 50 to 60 frame per second range that makes the game run smooth. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys some more combat, show you guys with our new hero, Kamala, and uh, show you guys what it looks like now that the graphics amplifier is plugged in. As you can see, everything... I think it it looks it looks better in the cutscenes, but uh, honestly, I think this game is beautiful, and the graphics amplifier makes it look absolutely amazing. Like... The ability to plug a full-size graphics card into a laptop, basically, is absolutely ridiculous. And on top of that, it lets me plug in all my monitors, so I have two more monitors hooked up to it now, instead of the one that I would normally be able to plug in. As well as I've got a bunch of a bunch more USB slots, so I can plug, I can plug my uh, my mouse, my keyboard, my webcam. Um, my headphones, like everything is now plugged into the back of this graphics amplifier, and then all I have plugged into my laptop now is my external graphics, or not my external graphics, or my, my external hard drive. 
which is really nice. Everything it really cleans up my desk on top of fixing. As you can see here, look how amazing this looks. But uh, yeah, Ooh. unblockable targets. Very cool. I'm not afraid of you. I'm just gonna you know almost die here. Really cool. But um, stop it now for a second. I'll tell you guys. But yeah, so overall, I really like how everything looks now, and on top of just overall just boosting your setup with this um, external with this external um, graphics amplifier, it just cleans everything up as well, which is what I really like. But yeah, I'll show you guys some more footage so you guys can get more more looks at like how it looks now with the graphics amplifier plugged in, and then keep if you keep a look over here, it's always staying in like that 50 to 60 range, which is really nice. But yeah, I'll keep going with the combat. I'll show you guys what's going on, and I'll run this up. We will show off everyone's favorite scientist and huge green man, the Hulk. Once again, everything is beautiful. The FPS is solid and smooth. Like I, said, I I think this game is beautiful, and I think that the graphics and part only makes it better. Yeah. As like I said, it only gets better once you plug the amplifier in and when you put the graphics card on it. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I'm going to keep enjoying this and keep enjoying this awesome game, which I highly recommend. I think the story has been really good so far, and I think it's only going to get better from here. Okay, just enjoy a little bit more of this combat, and then we'll roll it out from here. This is bad. This is bad. Crap! The demo to a video and have to reshoot it. So instead of listening to me, or not listening to me, because I'm super quiet trying not to die, I'll give you guys a little bit of voiceover commentary about what was happening and why I went silent here for the last few, few or almost minute of the video as I almost go, and you just, just die to robots in a tutorial. Alrighty, y'all, that rounds out this week's piece of content for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave a description down below of everything I use. My laptop, the graphics amplifier, everything else I use. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys check out just how powerful Alienware laptops are when coupled with that graphics amplifier. I think it makes a world of difference. I think the, the laptops in themselves are already amazing. And when you plug in the graphics amplifier, I think it just makes your workstation a hundred times better. I think it's amazing with the power that it has in that little box. I think it's all it's awesome. But anyway, I hope you guys check um, check everything out. I hope you guys check out Marvel Avengers. I thought it was a really cool game. And as always, make sure you comment about below what you guys want to see. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Remember to love each other. Peace out.